Would you like to know how to make a Twitch overlay without Photoshop? Well, you're in luck, because I'm actually gonna show you the software that I prefer and have leaned on for quite a few years now, and I'm gonna show you just a very simple way to put together your Twitch overlay, so make sure you stay tuned to today's video. Hey, I'm Dale, and this is Live Streaming Tech. If you wanna learn more about live streaming online, be it on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and beyond, make sure that you subscribe, hit the little bell notification on, so that way you don't miss a single video. Okay, if you happen to be watching this video, chances are pretty likely you're wanting to put together a Twitch overlay. Maybe you're not happy with some of the presettings that they have over, say, in Streamlabs OBS, where you'd like to kind of do your own thing, but you don't quite have the discretionary expenses, and you don't really have too much time to be learning how to do things in Photoshop. So I'm gonna show you a very simple way to put it together through one of my preferred software. It's called GIMP. GIMP is 100% free. It's open source software, so this means that it comes at no extra cost. There's going to be a little bit of uh, some issues you're gonna run into, and I'm gonna leave some links down inside the description below to two of my preferred YouTube channels that actually will show you how to use GIMP. So let's get right to it. Okay, you're gonna start out by opening up the program called GIMP. You can really get this for free over at gimp.org slash download. Make sure you get it for PC or your Mac, whatever you're using. We're gonna start it out here with a blank canvas. I prefer to start my canvas size as large as possible. In fact, think about the size of your canvas that you're streaming from. Uh, and the beauty of it is if you happen to go just a little larger than what you're streaming at, say we're gonna be doing this at 1080, you have it at 720, all you have to do is just shrink down this overlay. So we're gonna hit, hit Control N for new, and 1920 by 1080 is where we want it for pixels. We're gonna hit OK. It's gonna be pretty large here. Leave the blank canvas that it has right here. We're actually gonna end up duplicating it here, clicking like that. Now the next thing is, we see these foreground and background colors here on the left-hand side. We're gonna go ahead and keep those as is, and we're gonna change those in due time. I'm gonna press the uh, control and the comma key, so that way it fills it with black. Now we're gonna go over and we're gonna select the scale tool. So we're gonna select that scale tool, and we're just gonna kind of just shrink it on down. Make sure this chain link is locked together because we wanna kind of keep it at a good size. This is the little window that we're gonna probably use for our actual video camera, our webcam, and then we're gonna probably use an even larger size over here going into the actual screen here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit scale, boom. All right, so that's probably gonna where I'm gonna put my video camera at. Now let's go ahead, we're gonna duplicate this layer again, and I'm gonna just change out the color by left clicking on it, and let's make this one purple, why not? Just so we can differentiate, press control, comma, Right, now again, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just shrink it down, but this is gonna probably be where I'm gonna do like the gameplay area. Maybe I'm screen sharing something. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide this on over. I feel like I wanna have a little more room, the top and bottom, there we go. We can probably just scoot it over here. This is a very similar layout to what I do over on YouTube. So we're just gonna kinda center that. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're gonna go ahead and hit scale. All right, excellent. Just gonna tap this over just a little bit. All right, so now that we've got the layout all kind of set up, now we're just gonna kind of plan our way around this. So the very first thing I'm looking at is, okay, what do I want to do as far as a theme goes? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go online. There is a full a bunch of resources when it comes to actually getting some free images. I have recommend that you go get them from some of these free image resources. In fact, we have a full free image resource guide. If you go over to live streaming tech, dot site slash guide and when you subscribe to our email newsletter you'll get this all of our resources but for now we're just going to go to pixabay pixabay is a great resource and i'm going to go for something colorful so why don't we go ahead and say colorful colorful background i like why don't we go for colorful abstract let's see how that looks not bad it's kind of cool stuff you can probably take your time and just browse around see what works for you we can always say computer okay this isn't what, really what we're looking for we're going to hit vector graphics then it'll probably give us something a little more. So you see there's so many things we can kind of choose from. But for right now, I really like the colorful backgrounds that I saw originally. We're going to hit back. And kind of like this one. We're going to hit free download. You may have to set up an account, by the way, and I would recommend it. Go at the largest size you can. Hit download. Okay, so once you have that all saved, what you're going to do is open back up your GIMP and... 
you're going to take the image wherever you saved it to, then you'll drag and drop it onto the surface. Not bad. I kind of like the way this looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back, boom, 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 to right about here. I kind of like that. Not too bad. We're going to leave that white background go for right now. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I want to take where I'm going to have the gameplay and I'm just going to pull that out from the, that, that background there because ultimately we're going to be left with just the colors right here. So we're going to right click on the purple layer here where I'm going to have probably my gameplay or the majority of my stuff. We're going to hit alpha to selection. Then we're going to go down to the color layer. Make sure you select in the proper layer and hit delete and it's going to subtract it away. So what we're going to do is let's just shut this off. Okay, we're going to shut that off. And you will see now that this is going to be the area that we're going to put our gameplay or maybe uh, this is if it's a podcast, we're going to put that right about there. So we've got that all subtracted out. Not too bad. We're going to make this pop here in just a little bit here. Just give it a second. So I'm going to press Control Shift A so that way it deselects it. All right, nice. Now we're contending with this black box. And, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of, I'm, I want to make sure that we can kind of keep the theme going here and we're not just creating some kind of just a startling look. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit alpha to selection. Now I'm going to take the image and I'm just going to shut this one off in the background. I probably could have done this an easier way, but I just did it this way. We're going to drag and drop it again. We're going to probably end up merging this eventually. So I've got this highlighted here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and again, we have it highlighted on the right layer. We're going to hit delete and I pulled it out. So you'll notice right here. Now the next thing I want to end up doing too though is I'm going to grow it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to make it grow. And I'm thinking right about 16 maybe. And I'm going to create this line right here. So that way we have that set up right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert this. We're going to hit control I and we're going to delete it. You see that? So we're left with this. Now you're probably going, Dale, what are you doing? What is this all about? Press control shift A. So we deselect that. Now we're going to turn back on our layer and you'll see, oh wow, there's that right there. So now what we have to do is we're going to subtract alpha to selection. We're going to go down to that layer. Let's delete that. Let's turn back on our layer and you notice the really cool thing is we're just going to click and we're going to drag this on down or we can even just move it down. And now it's kind of one full layer. Control Shift A will deselect it. You see that? Not too bad. Let's go ahead and we're going to merge layers. So you can put your gameplay here and you can probably put your camera here or vice versa. It just depends on the type of content that you're doing. We're not going to leave it at that because we can really make this pop just a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to select my pencil here. All right. And now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to create like a line of some sort. We're going to go to tool options, select the brush. We're going to get the line, good thick line. So you see how I have it over top of here. Mm, it's kind of thick, but I really want that thicker, probably about 200. Let's see how that looks. There we go. That looks better. Now, Make sure we do a separate layer so we're not messing up our stuff if it looks messed up. Okay, transparent layer, we hit OK. And we're just going to draw on this layer. Now I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. I'm going to just left click right on top of it. Then I'm going to press the Shift key and drag it all the way over here. And all I need to do is left click it again. Boom. Okay, it looks a little bit off. I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to move it up just slightly. kind of went down just a little bit. We're going to move it up there. Probably went a little too high. And each time I do this to undo it, I press Control Z. There we go. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my magic wand tool. We'll left click on this. We're going to hit Control C. And I'm going to hit Control V. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the move tool. And we're going to move it down here. So that way there's just kind of that, that look. In fact, we can probably just take it and we can center it. And not bad. That looks all right. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and hit anchor. And where we're gonna hit anchor is right here, boom. And it anchored it on this transparent layer. Now, I'm gonna hit that little black background again, alpha to selection. And then we're just gonna go ahead and delete that little thing so that bar is not going over top of it. So now we're starting to look really clean. Now, let's just say, for instance, Control Shift A, we're gonna go ahead and deselect it. Looking pretty good. Let's not stop there. It's important that you maybe have some type of a call to action. Could be, you know, your Twitch channel, could be something with Twitter. For simplicity's sake, I think you can probably understand once we get things going. We're gonna go ahead, let's just say, I'm gonna hit Twitter. Look this up on Pixabay. I'm looking for a good Twitter icon. That's not bad. We've got a bunch of other icons here as well. I'm just gonna stick with this one. Hmm, it's transparent. I'm not shooting for transparency. Again, that's kind of transparent. Ah, here we go. Mm, this is not too bad. Ooh, I like this. I can work with that. Okay, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to download that. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and take this drag and drop it onto the surface. Now you're probably saying, but Dale, there's so many icons. What do you do with all that? All we're gonna do is, we're just gonna move this on up. I'm gonna grab the box and we're just gonna highlight the Twitter icon. Control I, because it's gonna invert it. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit delete. Control Shift A to deselect. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shrink this down. Most likely the rest of the icons are probably gonna show up. So we're gonna hit the transform tool and make this smaller. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. I did that with my scroll wheel. We're gonna probably go real small on this icon because we're just gonna come on up here. You can hopefully sense where I'm going with this. Excellent, scale. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and highlight these icons here and I'm gonna hit delete. Little trick here, we're gonna head right click on the Twitter layer, alpha to selection, go into your drop down layer, crop to selection, and now it's just crop to it, control shift A. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press the control key and then I'm gonna scroll in. All right, let's go ahead and put a little bit of text here. It could be follow me on Twitter. All right, I'm going to select all by pressing Control A. We're going to go to Tool Options. I'm going to hit Dynamic. It's going to make it all one row. And I'm going to select the type of font I want. I like Bayboss. It's up to you on the type of font that you like. Hit Delete. There we go. Awesome. And let's go ahead and get this centered just a little bit more. And we're going to make the font just a little closer together. I'm going to come over here to Tool Options, and I'm just going to kind of just squeeze it together. It's not too bad. Move the Twitter icon just up a little bit more. There we go. And maybe we just go ahead, and it could be at tech underscore streaming. There's my handle. I'm going to go back over, hit Dynamic. It's going to do it all, and I kind of like it that big so that way it takes up more real estate and grabs people's attention now i'm going to show you a little bit of the secret sauce here that make everything pop just a little bit more so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to right click on this layer we're going to hit alpha to selection i'm going to go to the next layer we're going to put a transparency here hit okay and i'm going to go ahead and let's just pick the color that we have on the twitter icon here I like that. There we go. We just picked that. I hit OK. I'm going to hit Control, comma, to fill that layer with that purple color. So we see that? Boom. Not too bad, right? Control, Shift, A. We'll deselect it. Let's turn it back off. We're going to go ahead and grab the Move tool. And I'm just going to move it just a little bit. And we can use our cursors too, by the way. Turn it back on. See that? Not too bad. I'm going to duplicate that layer just because. We're going to select the bottom layer. Go to Filters, Blur. Gaussian blur, 
And I'm going to hit 15. Uh, that just seems like a good lay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, look at that, how that just pops up off the page. Text streaming. And you can do the same thing for the follow me on Twitter if you wanted to. Uh, the nice thing is, if you've got alerts, you can always put your alerts here. You can put your chat in here, this area. The rest of it's all pretty much free game. So I'm going to hit Control S to save this GIMP document. And it could be my uh, Twitch overlay. And by the way, these overlays will work for just about any other areas that you're going to want to use this. So if you happen to be going to Mixer, you go to Facebook, you go to YouTube, these will work just as well there. I'm going to go over and save this to... All right, that's not enough though, because we actually need to export this to a PNG file. It's so important that you do it as a PNG. Anything visible will stay visible. Anything transparent will stay transparent. Control Shift E will export. It's my Twitch overlay. I've got it as PNG. If for some reason it defaults to something different, just simply highlight over top of it and type over it. PNG. We're going to hit OK. Export. Let's go ahead and put this to the test. Go ahead and open up your Streamlabs OBS or your OBS or whatever you're using for streaming. Add your source. Go to image. Add source. Alrighty. Go to browse. Find where your image is saved. We're going to select it. And done. Now see I already stream in 1080p so this is where I'd probably put my camera or I put it down over here in the bottom right hand corner either way you have everything set up again you can put your chat right up in here in this area you could probably even put a scrolling text in this white area maybe like make some black text you can put a you know something scrolling up here or any kind of date or time or question of the day things like that so uh, if you want to actually have this particular PNG file in this XCF we're gonna make that available actually in the link in the description down below and uh, we're gonna make this 100% free if you do happen to get this uh, please let us know if you kinda kinda questions concerns comments and speaking of doing any kind of streaming when it comes to twitch we're going to show you how to dial in all your settings in Streamlabs OBS in this video up here. And uh, while we're thinking about it, you might as well go ahead and tell your viewers how to get some bits so they reward you for those awesome overlays that you're doing. So just go over to that video as well. We'll see you in both.